What's going on? It's your boy DJ T Stomp out here with Comp Hits. And if one thing is for sure, two things for certain. Now that T Pain is in a different phase of his career, he has no problem keeping it honest. Last night, T Pain was on stream with Academics, and eventually Academics asked him about Chris Brown's remarks when it came to the first week sales of his new album, Breezy. When sales projections came out, Chris Brown went to Instagram and said, July 8th, Breezy Deluxe album. Not that it matters, seem like y'all only invest in the negative stories about me. Chris gets in trouble, the whole world knows about it. Chris drops album, crickets. Now, before we di dissect, this is what T-Pain had to say. Chris Brown has the, uh, the princess complex. What does that mean? Now, a lot of niggas don't know what the princess complex is. Now, we're going to take this to something that 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 is controversial. But it's not controversial. So... Basically, the princess complex is when a young girl grows up in a family or in, in the surroundings where every day she gets called a princess, she gets called pretty, she's the prettiest girl in the world, blah, 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 blah. Oh, a spoiled bitch. A spoiled bitch, basically. It's not, spo it's not spoiled. It, it, spoiled is different. Spoiled is just when you get what you want when you cause a fuss about something. Okay, okay. This okay. Uh, the princess the princess complex is when you not only get what you want but you get the accolades of a pretty person for doing absolutely fucking nothing. And yeah. just mm. and just being and just being pretty. Now, How do you overcome that then? And, and, okay, the, no, 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 like no, 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 go ahead, no, 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 Real motherfucker comes to you and say, "Hey, you ain't that fucking pretty." Mm. It's over. Breakdown, Twitter outrage, everything. Now that now this is my nigga, and I don't and I don't. I'm not saying that he has this. I'm just saying that here's the 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 trills and the 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 trails of it. I'm just saying, my nigga. If he put out the, the tweets that I saw, if that was actually him, then yeah. Maybe there's a little princess aspect to it to where it's like, what the fuck are y'all doing? I'm supposed to be famous. Um, y'all supposed to be my fans, and I get that. But I, me, I've never been a numbers guy. I've never been the top numbers guy. So I've always been able to differentiate when people actually like my shit. And then when it's just the same or when it's not dope or anything like that. So I've been able to say, all right, I mean, that makes sense. I'll just go back to the drawing board. Not really a big deal. But Chris, on the other hand, every time he drops anything, I don't give a, I don't give a fuck how many tracks it got on it. People buy it. Mm. So now that it's, it hasn't done that initial thing, it's like, fuck is wrong with y'all? It's never going to be what the fuck is wrong with me. Or what do I need to change? Or how can I approach this differently? It's like, what the fuck is wrong with y'all? Something's wrong with y'all right now. Because usually when I do this thing that I like, y'all jump and y'all do this thing. What the fuck is what the fuck is going on? But but don't but you now, get don't you get a, a little bit like delusional in terms of with music? Where it's not delusion. It's not delusional. You probably you probably delusional. felt the same way to a certain extent when all your shit is hidden. And then maybe you drop some something you're like, wait, why am I responding the same way or at least giving it the same opportunity? Uh, like I get. But but here but here's the thing: you have to have gone through both sides of that. You have to have gone through things going bad. You have to have gone through. Oh shit! When I dropped this, this shit was going crazy, and when I dropped this, it didn't go so well. So now I need to adjust. That's the thing. That's the shit that I've gone through. But with Chris, every time he dropped. It's always gone really fucking good. Every mm. fucking time. So now it's like, y'all must have done something wrong. Because I've done the same thing that I've done every time that the shit has gone great. So now, y'all must have done something wrong. Because it ain't me. It ain't me. I know what I'm doing. I'm fucking Chris Brown. Now, even after jail time, various controversies, and the Rihanna incident, Chris Brown has consistently done very well throughout the years. With the exception of Chris Brown's collab albums, due to the fact that collab albums historically rarely sell well, and his collab album with Young Thug, Slime and B, didn't have a traditional release process, 
he for the most part was always able to do around at least 100,000 records in the first week and would have several singles dominating the hip-hop space. This time with his new album Breezy, this was not the case. With his new album, Chris Brown sold 72,000 in the first week and the lead-up singles did not perform well. If he peaked at number 71 on the Billboard Hot 100, Warm Embrace peaked at number 79 on the Billboard Hot 100, and Call Me Every Day featuring Wizkid peaked at number 76 on the Billboard Hot 100. None of the singles made it to the Billboard Top 40. Now, looking at the data, it is very obvious that things have changed in Chris Brown's career. Now, what T-Pain is saying is this. As a musician, your career is going to have ups and downs, even if you're a great. Look at Lil Wayne's sales history, for example. Chris Brown's newest album is not an up, and when things went down, instead of telling himself he needs to go back to the drawing board and try something new, he instead started blaming other people, including media, the fans, and everyone surrounding the business of the album. In T-Pain's eyes, Chris just needs to make new stuff and try again, and a project of his coming out and not doing anything special is something Chris Brown's just not used to. Another thing that T-Pain mentions is the fact that you can no longer get a solid opinion on your album within the first two weeks of its release. When an album releases, people will be quick to say it's mid or trash, but once two weeks passes, you have clear data and people have spent enough time with the album to give their honest opinions. What do you guys think? Was Breezy a solid album? Was T-Pain speaking facts? Let us know in the comments.